So I've got a huge update for you guys regarding the DNC email leak. So first is that Debbie Wasserman Schultz, current DNC chair, has announced her resignation. And in an official statement, she says, I know that electing Hillary Clinton as our next president is critical for America's future. I look forward to serving as a surrogate for her campaign in Florida and across the country to ensure her victory going forward. The best way for me to accomplish those goals is to step down as party chair at the end of this convention. Now, I don't know what type of surrogate you think you'll make, but I can guarantee that all of the dislike and the distaste that you've garnered among your own party can assure that you will not be a good surrogate. So Hillary Clinton would be smart to distance herself from Debbie Wasserman Schultz. However, you guys will probably not be surprised to know that Hillary Clinton has promoted her and she will now serve as honorary campaign chair of Clinton's campaign. So she's kind of going from one job to another. And although she's just the honorary chair of her campaign, again, Hillary Clinton is choosing to do the worst thing possible politically, and she doesn't care about the optics, she doesn't care how bad this looks. So you shouldn't be surprised by this, honestly. Now, DNC Vice Chair Donna Brazil will be serving as the interim chair through the election, and as of yesterday, she claims to have apologized to Bernie Sanders. She states, first of all, as vice chair, I went over yesterday to see the Sanders campaign and I apologized. I think the allegations in the emails, the insensitivity, the stupidity needs to be addressed. We are going to address it. Now, Donna Brazil, uh, overall, she is a lot more self-aware, a lot more charismatic than Debbie Wasserman Schultz. However, she is a CNN commentator. And as we all know, CNN's nickname is Clinton News Network because they are fully in the tank for Hillary Clinton. Now, credit where credit is due, they have been reporting on this. Jake Tapper, I think, was very objective in his reporting. However, we know that the parent company of CNN, Time Warner, is one of Hillary Clinton's largest donors. So I'm a little bit skeptical, and you guys should be skeptical, but we can give Donna Brazil a chance for now. Now, Bernie has officially responded, and he states... I told you long time ago that the DNC was not running a fair operation, that they were supporting Secretary Clinton, so what I suggested to be true six months ago turned out to be true. Now, prior to Debbie Wasserman Schultz's announcement of her resignation, Bernie Sanders stated that she should step down. Here's a video of that. I think she should resign, uh, period, and I think we need a new chair uh, who is going to lead us in a very different direction. That is taking on the billionaire class and fighting for an agenda that works for working families. Now, Bernie Sanders has also responded to the attack on his presumed atheistic beliefs. He says, quote, I am not an atheist, but aside from all of that, it is an outrage and sad that you would have people in important positions in the DNC trying to undermine my campaign. It goes without saying, the function of the DNC is to represent all of the candidates to be fair and even-minded. Now, we all know that was not the case. Now, as for the individual that made these remarks about Bernie Sanders' religion and tried to attack him for it, DNC CFO Brad Marshall he has since publicly apologized to Bernie Sanders, saying in a Facebook post, I deeply regret that my insensitive emotional emails would cause embarrassment to the DNC, the chairwoman, and all of the staffers who worked hard to make the primary a fair and open process. Yeah, right. The comments expressed do not reflect my beliefs, nor do they reflect the beliefs of the DNC and its employees. I apologize to those I offended. Except they directly reflect your beliefs because... That's your beliefs. You typed the email, did you not? Did someone, you know, hold your hands and guide you into typing out that you want to attack Bernie Sanders for his atheistic beliefs, potentially? No, absolutely not. So that is your beliefs. So uh, this is a really dim-witted apology, although I am glad that you apologized and I will give you credit for that. But come on, man, we're not stupid. You're not fooling anyone. Now, finally, Clinton campaign manager Robbie Mook has responded to the DNC leak, and this is what he had to say. Experts are telling us that Russian state actors broke into the DNC, stole these emails, and are releasing these emails for the purpose of helping Donald Trump. I don't think it's coincidental that these emails are being released on the eve of our convention here. This isn't my assertion. This is what experts are telling us. This is further evidence the Russian government is trying to influence the outcome of the election. Now, <laughs> regardless if this is true or false, notice what they did there. 
they completely disregarded the merits of what was in the emails. So instead of actually taking responsibility for the collusion between the DNC and the media, the DNC and Clinton's campaign, and the just complete unfairness, well, they're just going to blame it on Russia. Well, how about rather than placing blame on Russia and fear-mongering about Donald Trump yet again, how about you actually take responsibility and you acknowledge that Bernie Sanders supporters are rightfully outraged because they were cheated, because the process was unfair, and you guys had the audacity to call us conspiracy theorists throughout the entirety of the primary process, and now that this DNC email is leaked, guess who's spreading conspiracies? It's Clinton's campaign that it was Russia and that they're only trying to help elect Donald Trump. I don't know if that's true. Uh, there's no evidence that that's true as of yet, but I don't care if that's true. What we're looking for is for you guys to address the substance of what's in the emails. Do you have no comment? You seriously have no comment on the collusion between the DNC and Clinton's campaign? On how the DNC was trying to deliberately attack Bernie Sanders to the betterment of Hillary Clinton's campaign, you don't have anything to say? And yet, you're gonna go there tomorrow and call for party unity. Come on, man. Now, in a developing story, there is evidence that Twitter is censoring tweets pertaining to the DNC leak hashtag. So on Friday, the hashtag actually disappeared completely for about 20 minutes before coming back. And some users are still reporting that it is not showing up for them. Now, Facebook has also been accused of censoring news surrounding the DNC leak, but it could reportedly be attributed to their automatic spam filtering system, which sometimes gives them false positives, according to Twitter user Swift on Security. Now, Facebook's team has claimed that the issue has been fixed. So that's basically all of the news for now, but there are still plenty coming out. So please check the description box because I will continue to update it as more news breaks. But the question is, now that Debbie Wasserman Schultz is resigning, now what? Are we just supposed to fall in line after it's been proven that we were cheated? We're still supposed to uh, support Hillary Clinton? What are we supposed to do now? What else do we get? We don't get anything out of this? So yeah, you guys, I know you were cheated and we completely tried to destroy Bernie Sanders' campaign from the beginning, but uh, she resigned and the staffer who was going to attack him for his religious beliefs said that he's sorry. Okay, great. So now let's just go fall in line and hold hands with the Democrats and vote for Hillary, right? There has to be something more. There absolutely has to be something more. To every single person that donated to Bernie Sanders when they didn't have the money to do so, they were defrauded by the DNC. So we donated to a candidate that really didn't have a chance since the DNC was working against its own candidate. It was working against everyone except for Hillary Clinton because the emails in the DNC leak revealed that they were referring to Martin O'Malley as a joke as well. So they were in the tank for Hillary Clinton from the very beginning, and all of our suspicions were confirmed. Not that it wasn't, you know, brazenly obvious that Debbie do anything for Hillary Wasserman Schultz, otherwise known as Debt Trap Debbie, was in the tank for Hillary Clinton, but this just confirms all of that, and now we get nothing. The process was unfair. Who knows if Bernie Sanders could have won if the process was fair, but we get absolutely nothing. So this is a shame for democracy, and all that Hillary Clinton's campaign can do right now is fearmonger about Donald Trump again. How about this? How about you address the merits of what is in those emails? And just know, guys, this is only the beginning. So WikiLeaks will be releasing more emails. So what we will discover, <laughs> you know, this is only the beginning. So in the end, this is just incredibly unfair. And really, we were cheated and we get nothing now. Our candidate lost due to a highly unfair process. He could have won. We have no idea. We'll never know. But we get jack shit. But in the end, that's the update. I will be sure to come back if there's anything else.